With current digital video cameras, there are two types of popular image sensors right now, 35mm full frame and super 35mm. But what exactly is the difference? Let's dive in and do a quick comparison between the two. With older film photography cameras, the 35mm film would be loaded horizontally, just like this. 35mm refers to the width of the film. It has nothing to do with the actual size of the image being captured. With still photography, the image will be captured on the film just like this, creating what is referred to as full frame. With motion picture cameras, the film would be loaded vertically. Then the image would be captured in this area. This is what's referred to as Super 35mm. Just a quick side note, Super 35mm refers to a few different types of image sensors that are all close in size. This includes popular sensors like APS-C. As you can see, both full frame and Super 35 are captured on 35mm film stock, but full frame covers a larger area. Traditionally, 35mm full frame is for still photography, and Super 35mm is for motion pictures. However, with the increased use of DSLRs and mirrorless cameras for filmmaking, there are a lot more videos now using full frame. But where does the Super come in in Super 35mm? The term is simply a holdover from film technology. Originally, 35mm motion pictures covered this part of the frame, while the audio track took up this part of the frame. Super 35mm simply dispensed with the audio track, which left a larger area for the image to be captured. Movies filmed on Super 35mm include Titanic, The Lord of the Rings, Top Gun, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Both of these formats are great for filmmaking. They each provide a large sensor space for capturing an image, creating great low light performance and a shallow depth of field. And yes, while a 35mm full frame sensor is larger than a Super 35, both are great and can create a cinematic image. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.